I got a nice early start, 6 a.m. I didn't sleep very well. The floor was hard and I just couldn't get comfortable and my feet were twitchy. I should have just grabbed a dinner and hiked on and found a nice spot. It didn't even rain. It rained like around dinner time, but after that there wasn't a cloud in the sky and there were so many stars. So I kind of blew it there, but I have about 13 miles to the top of the pass and then a six mile round trip to touch the border. There's the Conejos River that I walked down all day yesterday. It'd probably be eight more miles to the Cumbres Pass. The northbound CDT. So I'm going this way. It's pulling into the station. That's the train that I didn't get to ride that I'm not going to get to ride, but at least I got to see it. <laughs> that looks really fun. Look at all those people in the back. There it is. The end. So some particularly memorable days include the day that I did James Peak. I hiked through all that mossy tundra stuff. It was pretty exhausting. And then I climbed that 13,000 foot peak that was really scary. And then the very next day, I climbed another 13,000 foot peak before I got to Burthood Pass. I forget the name of that peak. But that was a pretty memorable experience. And um, another one was climbing that big green mountain. I think it was the first high alpine mountain I climbed in Colorado. It was so beautiful. And then another one was climbing that Parkview Lookout where I met the uh, Brazilian guy and we had to try to talk in gestures to figure out which way to go, each of us. And, um, and then other particularly um, memorable was uh, Gray's Peak and the scary experience going down the other side was memorable in a bad way. I wish that I hadn't done it at all. I think if I had to do it over again, I would take an alternate route and avoid it. Oh, another good experience was the shortcut I took that had me follow a dirt road after Gray's Peak after Webster Pass, I think, had me follow a dirt road that went downhill the whole entire way along a beautiful stream and then met up with the Colorado Trail for the first time. And that cut off 10 miles of horrible ridge walks, which I don't see the appeal of those at all. That was a great day. 
So those are some of the best days. I enjoyed meeting the northbounders along the highway in the Great Basin. I, and I loved my campsite in the Great Basin. It was a nice, nice place, nice night. I unfortunately didn't take a picture of my favorite campsite of all, which was by the gate. I got a picture of the gate though. <laughs> that was my best night. It was such a flat site, so soft and comfortable, such a warm night, so quiet. That was the best campsite of them all. So those are some of the memories. Of course, there's lots more. There were a lot of good days and some bad days. But overall, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it's done. All right, stepping over the border. Whoa, into Colorado.